Example three. Uh, Claire bought eight tickets for a total cost of 104. She had used a coupon code to get $3 off each ticket. Let X be the original cost of each ticket. Which of the following expressions correctly represent um, the situation? So you'll see there's one, two, three of them. Which one is the best one for us to pick? So understanding why each of these are written the way they are, understanding what the variable X represents is what we're really looking at. So X is a ticket price. If you've got a coupon that gets you $3 off every ticket, then you're obviously, let's you're gonna pay $10 for a ticket, um, if the ticket was 10 bucks, right? Or you take $10 minus three, you're gonna pay $7, right? So here, uh, I'm looking at the one in the middle because it doesn't have parentheses. To me, that just seems like a good place to start. But this is eight times every ticket. So bought eight tickets, you multiply by whatever the cost of the ticket is, and then here we subtract three. So that is really just saying, here's the price of all the tickets, and then you get a $3 discount. But it should be $3 off each ticket, not just the $3 discount to get a total price of 104. So this one, um, exit off or doesn't work, right? So now let's move on to one of these. What, are this, what does it mean when we got a three outside the parenthesis for this expression? What does the eight out here stand for for this expression? So what we're doing in the first one is we're multiplying three times the price of a ticket and then multiplying three times a negative eight, which is like a discount or money taken away off the price. So if we did this and we kind of made it look like the original equation we had here, we'd get 3x minus 24 equals 104. So that means like three times the price of a ticket. So you're really only gonna get three tickets here. And then for some reason, you're gonna get just $24 off. So where that relates to our $3 off and where that relates to getting eight tickets, I don't see it. This one doesn't work either. We're only gonna get, we're only gonna get three tickets out of that deal. So obviously this is the right answer. And hopefully you're seeing, if you don't originally see the solution, go ahead and expand these out so you can see what the equation is. So we're working a little bit backwards here because they gave us the expression, but it's a harder story problem to kind of interpret. So eight times X is eight X, and then eight times negative three is negative 24. So what this is saying is I'm gonna buy eight tickets at the price of X but then I'm going to get $24 off. And the reason I get $24 off is I get $3 off for every ticket I buy. So that's $3 off of the eight tickets I've bought. That's $24 that I get as a discount. This one is correct.